Ender Dragon is the most infamous boss in Minecraft. And as everyone knows, it is exclusive to the end dimension. But what if I told you, you can actually bring the Ender Dragon into the overworld and keep him as a pet without destroying any blocks or buildings. This is guaranteed to impress your friends. And I will show you exactly how to do it in this video. The first step before anything is to prepare a bit. Keep in mind that if you haven't killed the original dragon, you will need to do that as well. So for that, get yourself some proper armor, weapons and tools. Head back to the end and defeat the dragon. Now we can grab the actually necessary stuff like building blocks and everything else I'm showing you here. Let's head back to the end and I can show you how to bring an ender dragon to the overworld. And the first step is to thank our sponsor, Wise Hosting, the easiest way to get the Minecraft server for you and your friends. Go to wisehosting.com, purchase a package, upload or create a new world and start playing. Check it out using the link below. Anyways, first let some sand fall through the end portal just like this. After that, jump through it yourself as well. You will either spawn near your beds or in the word spawn. Either way, go to the 00, zero coordinates and somewhere here you should see a sand tower. This tower marks the location where your dragon will originally spawn. And the height of this tower will determine the height at which the dragon will be. So make it as tall as you want your pet dragon to be at. And at the top, make sure to place an end stone block. Next, go back to the end. Here we need to climb up to Y200 with the scaffoldings. Once we are here, we need to place down some blocks. Use any blocks that the enderman can't spawn on, like glass or leaves, and breach out to the exact locations shown right here. At these coordinates, place down the end stone blocks. At the end, the result should look just like this. These blocks will prevent the dragon from moving around and he will get stuck. I should also mention that this tutorial is based on Igna 778s and Jelly Meeps videos. If you want to know more about why this works or how the Ender Dragon behaves, go check out their channels where they go in depth about this topic. Now that the blocks are all placed, remove any unnecessary scaffoldings and spawn in a new dragon using the end crystals. Once all the healing crystals have spawned, destroy them all but one. When only one crystal is left, wait until the dragon burges down in the middle. When the dragon is down here, destroy the last crystal and run in the middle. Now the dragon is stuck and it can be moved. Our goal now is to move him down into the gateway that just opened up. And this can be done pretty easily with flying machines and pistons. Press F3 plus B and see the hitboxes. And let's build a simple flying machine to push the dragon. First, build up a bit with some temporary blocks. Then place two slime blocks like this. And next to them a sticky piston and an observer like this. Do the same thing again, but flip the sides. And your compact flying machine is done. Now he will start moving in the direction of the portal. Your dragon might be lower or higher than the portal. So in that case just use some pistons and blocks to push it either up or down. When the white hitbox is in the gateway, it will light up like this. And the dragon will go through in a couple of seconds. Next we have to wait a bit until the game spawns a new dragon on the main island. And here we go, the new dragon spawned. He will stay up there for a while, but eventually he will come down and get stuck as well. And now just kill this dragon. This will open up the portal so we can get the previous dragon into the overworld. Next go up here and break the block at coordinate 040. And after that we can go through the end gateway ourselves. When we arrive on the other side, you will be able to see that your dragon is here. If the dragon is stuck, do a quick relog, but if not, just follow him back to the main island. Once near the main island, go in the middle near the portal and wait for the dragon to come here as well. It might take some time, so be patient. Once the dragon stops here like this, jump into the portal and do a quick relog. Come back to the end and you will be able to see that your dragon is stuck. Now we can start moving him. Enable the hitboxes with F3 plus B to better understand everything and start by pushing him downwards. 
Do this until the green hitbox is flush with the portal's floor like this. And after that, push it down until it moves one more block. Now we can see that the green hitbox is in the portal. Now, line yourself up with the back corner of the main body hitbox just like this. And while being on the same level as the portal, dig down 5 blocks. Then dig towards the corner and find it. Now, use a piston and push some of the end stone next to the bottom of the hitbox, just like this. And your dragon should be duplicated to the overworld. Now, just push him away to access the portal yourself and jump in. And as you can see, we actually got it true. We have an ender dragon in the overworld. He's calm and circling around at the top block of the tower. He can still break any blocks by flying through them, so make sure the area above your blocks is all open. But if you don't want to keep your dragon in the spawn, we can actually move him as well. Pretty much the same way we did in the end. And that's with flying machines, so let me show you how you can do it. First pick in which direction you want to move the dragon, then go back a bit in the opposite direction, and place a block at the same height as the top block of the tower here. Then go up 7 temporary blocks, and let's build a flying machine here. Start off with placing a sticky piston and two slime blocks like this. And after that go down a bit and add another piston facing towards you. Now a regular piston right here, with the temporary block right after it. And then 5 slime blocks like this. You can break the temporary blocks now. Then an observer next to this slime block. And make sure that the arrow above is facing the slime block. And another one next to this slime block as well. After removing all the temporary blocks, the machine will start moving. And once you are at your desired location, stop the machine and do a quick relog. This prevents the dragon from trying to fly back. Now you can change direction and keep on pushing it. But if not, you can just keep him at this spot. The dragon will just circle in this area and won't hurt anybody. In case you don't want him to slowly start shifting away from every time you reload the chunks here, build a chunk loader. This will keep the chunks always loaded and your dragon will stay in one place, even if you fly away and unload the chunks. There are great tutorials on chunk loaders on YouTube, so pick whichever one you like and build it here right under the floating dragon. Once you have your chunk loader ready, it is all done. Now congratulations, you have a pet ender dragon flying over your base or whatever location you chose. Remember to check out Wise Hosting and see ya in the next video. Bye!